Hey quilty friends, I'm Natalia Bonner. I've got a fun little video to share with you today. So today I'll be quilting on this cute wreath block. I'll actually be using a couple of different thread colors here just because sometimes we need to match thread colors. I actually use several colors on this particular quilt. Um, but before we get to the video, just a few things that I want to share with you. Like always, I do all my stitching on my Gamel 22 inch machine. I am stitching in the stitch regulated mode and I've got my machine set at 12 stitches per inch. Now the threads that I'm using here, like I mentioned, a couple of different colors. So I'm going to be using a red color and actually an off-white color on the top. The parts that you'll see, I also used a gray color for all the background filler. And that is so fine thread. Then on my bobbin, I'm using bottom line thread. So that's a bobbin thread. I'm also using one layer of Quilter's Dream wool batting. That's how I get the awesome texture that I'm able to create with this cute quilt. You can pick up all those products over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. One other thing I do want to mention though, if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you do check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash Natalia Bonner. Over on Patreon, I share a lot of videos, a lot more that you're not going to find here. And I take you more in depth into my process of machine quilting, get to see behind the scenes types of things. Plus, I walk you through the process of quilting an entire quilt like this one. So make sure you hop over there. In the meantime though, let's get stitching. So as you can see, I have already quilted the background filler on this quilt. Like I said, I do go more into detail over on Patreon where I show you actually step by step how to quilt this whole entire quilt. But this is just a sneak peek. With most of my machine quilting, I like to quilt things and try to bring them to life. So this is a wreath block, like with the holly and fairies. Well, at least that's what it appears to be to me. So why not quilt it to look like that? I am using the color 402, the off-white thread on these blocks. Even though they're green, the color blends really nicely with these colors and really looks fabulous. It actually seems to take on the colors of the green. So you can see I do use my ruler, my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, to assist me to get from one point to another. But then I'm just quilting this fun point-to-point -point curved holly or <laughs> this leaf design in here just to really bring those blocks to life. So now I have switched thread colors. I'm using a red color here. Obviously the red's going to look better on red, so totally worth switching thread colors. And in each of these square blocks, because these blocks to me represent the fairies, I want to make them more rounded. So I'm simply quilting this fun swirl that kind of, it's really random. There's ne not necessarily any rhyme or reason to it. Some of my lines cross over each other, but I love just the rounded feel that it gives to those fun square quilt blocks. And you'll see that I just travel from one block to the other along the ditch when I need to and work my way all the way around stitching those fun circles on each of those red blocks. I hope you found a little bit of inspiration today from this fun short little video and like I said don't forget to check out my Patreon page and all of the products that you see here are available for purchase on my website peaceandquilt.com. Thank you.